We're standing in front of the John Milne uh, monument here in the Hamilton Cemetery and he comes to uh, Canada in the 1850s and by the 1860s he has set up a foundry here in Hamilton. The foundry was producing items for uh, the, the homes of the uh, Victorian times, uh, uh, stoves that would go into their lounges in their living rooms. He also did uh, scales for businesses. So he uh, had a catalog of items that he he had uh, multiple uh, items that he sold to multiple people. Um, he, his uh, foundry was called the Milne Stewart Burroughs uh, Foundry, uh, maybe not in that order, <laughs> but uh, you know, there's three guys that were involved in that and he was the president of that foundry. Uh, in 1910, he uh, acquired four other foundries. He amalgamated them together as uh, uh, the Canada Steel Company, which became Stelco. So this is the president and founder of Stelco. He created the Pure Milk Company here in Hamilton, and that was with Adelaide Hoodless uh, after the death of her uh, uh, son uh, from Unpure Milk. He also was the president of the Wentworth Incline Railway. And in uh, 1915 uh, to 1922, he became a senator for the Dominion of Canada. He also set up the uh, Grant Springs Brewery uh, Company and was the president of that too. So he, ha he created milk, he created beer, and he created steel for Hamilton. It's a, a lovely monument. It's the largest monument in the Hamilton Cemetery.